because I know when you were at Berea, at least from some of the stories that you told me that you were openly gay. Were you openly gay in your home community? No, I wasn't. No, I had a, I had a secret boyfriend in high school. He was like the top jock of the one of the top jocks of the state, and we were secretly seeing each other. It was it was very top secret. But the minute I stepped on campus into my dorm, it's weird because all of us gay guys sort of found each other within a couple of days and just became friends. We all had that same experience and background of being secretive, but together we could be who are ourselves with each other. But when you went back home, how was it? I sort of toned down my gestures and some of my speech when I would go home to West Virginia during the college years finishing tasks, uh, being focused, they saw a huge change in me that way. Because they were always concerned that I, my mind would float in other places. And I'm, I'm sure I had ADHD or whatever back then, so nobody knew what it was. But they saw a great change in me and maturity in me. So they were very, very accepting of me as, as that change. But again, I didn't ever came out to my dad because he passed away in t- t- 2015. My mother... I came out to her about three years ago, and she knew what the conversation I was going to have with her. She goes, Jeff, me and your father knew when you were three years old, or we suspected, because I had asked for a dollhouse when I was three. And they laid in bed that night. They came from a Mormon Methodist background, and Mormons are notoriously not open to that lifestyle. Methodists are pretty more liberal, but they were prepared to handle it. They were like you know, psychologically prepared. And I got that dollhouse for Christmas. So they were very supportive. And had I known, I would have come out a lot sooner and they would have been more accepting of me having, like if I had a potential lifelong partner, I could bring home to meet them. They were open to all of that, but I just wasn't ready to tell them. And mom told me, she goes, it wasn't our job to tell you. It was your job to tell us. So Um, how... How do you think that weighed on you since? It's been really good. Like I can have open conversations with my mother because I just talked to her. I am dating a man from the Philippines who I met at Christmas time here in Maine. And we're talking about marriage. He's a special ed teacher. He's very smart, very poor. They have food insecurity. We talk every day. I was sharing with her our connection and that I really, I think I'm really in love with him. And his food insecurities, every morning he asks me if I have eaten. That's his first question every morning because food insecurity in the Philippines is rampant. And I think, you know, I showed him pictures of grocery stores here and he's just overwhelmed with that. So that cultural difference is gonna be interesting. But my mom has accepted the conversation and she's excited to meet him. So, My plan is to go over and pick him up in August to bring him here. We're going to do the the diplomatic paperwork we have to do as an engaged spouse or future spouse. And we've already researched all of that. 